Hello Leo, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus and it will be from the 3rd to the 9th of May 2021. Now I'm using many tarot cards this week, starting with the Tarot Grand Lux and then we'll pull a Fairy Oracle card at the end. So what is the overarching message for Leo? Angel Spirits Guides for the week please. 3rd to the 9th of May 2021. <clears throat> Message for Leo, thank you. <coughs> okay, sorry, I'm suffering from allergies at the moment, so you'll have to bear with me. <laughs> okay, what do we have for Leo, please? Angels, Spirits, Guides. Message for our lovely Leos. 3rd to the 9th of May 2021. Okay, your card has flown out. Four of coins. So let's pull some cards and see what we get. Leo, we pull three cards, as you know by now, and then we clarify, go deeper into the message, and it won't resonate with everybody. So just take what resonates with you. Message for Leo, thank you. Message for Leo. Okay, starting with the challenge position, what do we have for Leo? 3rd to the 9th of May, 2021, please. Angels, Spirits, Guides. Message for Leo, thank you. Eight of Cups in the challenge position. Page of Swords. The Hierophant. Let's clarify, go deeper into the message for Leo, please. One more shuffle. Can we clarify the cards on the table for Leo, please? Angel Spirits Guides. 3rd to the 9th of May 2021. Thank you. What do we have for our lovely Leos? Thank you. Nope, doesn't want to come out, so let's carry on. Thank you. So we have the Lovers card of Gemini. Page of Swords, Leo. We have the Knight of Cups and the Hierophant. We have the Nine of Pentacles. Bottom of the deck, we have the High Priestess. I'm going to clarify this Hierophant. Ace of Cups. And I'm going to clarify this Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, I kind of felt that with the Nine of Pentacles. Okay. Hmm. So this can be you or the other person. It feels to do with love, romance, relationships here, Leo. There is something of value that you want to hold on to. And it feels in terms of love, romance, relationships. This can be about holding on tightly to something. Um, it can be to do with what's of value to us. Definitely it feels in this energy that some of you are considering holding on to something or somebody, you or somebody, you know, the other, the other half of your relationship. Because the Eight of Cups with the lovers, somebody was in the process of making a decision to give up, walk away. And it feels from a relationship. The lovers generally re represents harmony. 
Um, but obviously something's happened here. It's certainly in the challenge position, it can signify that there was some obstacle or disharmony in the relationship to overcome. You know, this can be a card of disappointment as well. Can you put disappointment behind you? Or is this, is something happened here that is making you make a decision to walk away? This can be a choice card. And it's to, it's, it's to do with matters of the heart, generally. So it feels in this situation, Leo, you haven't quite made up your mind here. There is some... It feels in this situation there is some of you, something's happened and you're on that brink or somebody's on that brink of maybe turning their back on a relationship um, for whatever reason this is. Now, yes, the, there's a kind of feeling here with the Page of Swords and the Knight of Cups of expressing feelings might enlighten you might you might learn something from opening your heart to somebody or them opening their heart to you you know yes the knight of cups is somebody who offers you love but they it's an expressive energy they express their feelings they wear their heart on the sleeve everything is exposed in terms of matters of the heart and again this page of swords which can be about truth learning something hearing something um that may change your perspective or the way you're looking at something. It feels is quite key. It's interesting, I had a similar reading for you in the messages from Spirit for me. Um, but it feels in this situation, there may well be something that you may learn. And it feels somebody wants to offer some truth to express their feelings. Um, it doesn't feel in this situation somebody wants to let a relationship go. You know, and there's a feeling with the High Priestess, she is about trusting your intuition. Why are you holding on to something? Why is there a delay in making some kind of decision or choice to walk away? Is it because there is still something of value there? And that's what your intuition is telling you here. I'm definitely getting that energy. It also feels like there's some knowledge coming to light or some something being revealed here or you know it feels in this situation someone is is wearing their heart on their sleeve because it, i definitely get this energy of somebody doesn't want a relationship to end the sun is a card of restoration and healing and it's interesting because that night that nine of pentacles is is virgo energy in a way so this feels in this respect that it definitely feels in this respect that this virgo energy is about healing complete coming through the other side of a situation now it can be a card of independence as well the nine of pentacles um the child is putting this obstacle behind them and they are stepping into the light the warmth the positivity it, it definitely feels for me that there's an opportunity to restore a relationship. And I mean, this can be about self-worth, self-esteem, standing in your own abundance and feeling pretty good about it. But it feels in this situation, Leo, this is somebody who knows what they deserve. And the sun is a kind of good news, celebration, joy, happiness, finding happiness. And it feels like there's an opportunity to get the happiness back. Because the Ace of Cups is the cup that was missing from the Eight of Cups. Remember, the eight plus one is nine. And I'm definitely getting, um, I'm definitely getting in this energy. You're being offered it feels some kind of news or information or learning something this week will get you back on track in a relationship because this is opening a new door and the Hierophant can be a card of marriage, can be generally about long-term committed relationships, but the Ace of Cups is self-love, 
renewal of love, emotional rebirth, um, finding new happiness. Uh, it's just a lovely, lovely energy where your cup is overflowing once more. You don't feel the lack anymore. You feel the cup is overflowing. And I feel that's what somebody is offering you or you're offering it to them. Because it, it feels that this is worth fighting for. It feels this is a relationship of value that certainly somebody doesn't want to let go of. Yeah, and the Ace of Cups is such a positive, uplifting, happy energy. It's your emotions. It's your feelings. It's finding happiness. After feeling lack for some reason, there's definitely an energy of new happiness coming your way. Lovely energy, Leo. Um, very, very beautiful indeed. It can be also the Hierophant about searching for meaning. And I'm definitely getting in this energy. You're finding new meaning that is helping you put your energy back in a relationship this week. Um, it feels like there was a lack of clarity in, in love. Whether you both weren't expressing your heart to each other or opening up to each other, it definitely feels in this energy that is definitely being revealed. Maybe somebody was keeping something in or, you know, wasn't completely expressing how they felt. I mean, whatever this is, Leo, it definitely feels there's something worth hanging on to here, holding on to something of value because there is an opportunity to get it back on track. So I'm going to pull you a final card. Final message for Leo, please. Final message for Leo. Yeah, I like that energy. We have pure intention. The fairy of manifestation will help you use your wishes wisely. Manifest your heart's desire with pure intention and for the highest good of all. And it's interesting because the heart's desire, eight plus one, even two is the ten of cups. It is absolutely everybody getting their heart's desire. So it, it feels in this energy, you're coming through a difficult time, through the other side and feeling really good about it. Um, in your worth, healing complete, whatever this is, it just feels there's such an uplifting, abundant energy and definitely this energy of something is worth nurturing to get back on track. So I hope you enjoyed the reading, Leo. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful, a wonderful uh, week for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.